Hello there everybody, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well indeed. This is myself, Matt Tomato. Thanks so much for tuning in and welcome back to some more Airport City here on the Game Insight desktop channel. Um, well, the desktop website rather. Um, things are going pretty good actually so far. Uh, during the intermission uh, between episodes, I did just jump onto my personal account, as I said at the end of the last episode, and I just uh, completed some visits, uh, sent some gifts and things as well. Um, actually, funnily enough, uh, this is the visiting that I did here, but also uh, someone else has visited over this way um, because uh, I obviously you can only visit five. Uh, five buildings uh, in any one day and you can see here that well it looks like I got nine uh, looks like maybe whoever visited uh, also visited one of the buildings that I did but that's awesome uh, so thank you ever so much to whoever visited uh, that's very very nice and funnily enough just happened to coincide with the time that I uh, I visited myself uh, which is a wee bit weird but uh, what can you do anyway we've got the bonuses available here we've got some planes coming back um, 30 seconds there on that one which is super uh, we've got some collections yeah look at that we've got loads of good good things happening here so plenty to uh, plenty to discuss here okay excellent so Reese sent me a computer thank you very much and of course then I have sent myself uh, the do not disturb sign uh, of course you can't send them back uh, because um, Obviously, uh, I've already gifted stuff to people today. Uh, so I've already run out of gifts for today. So, uh, okay, super duper. So it means I get some bonuses here. Uh, great stuff. Bonus from neighbor. Thank you very much. So it was Reese Airport. So thank you ever so much to Reese for visiting my airport. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, it was the car dealership was the building that was visited twice. Okay, excellent stuff. Okay, so two planes here, which is great. Uh, we're going to go ahead and ensure we collect from all of these. And of course, we're getting double money here as well, because we've got the inconvertible coin active. So uh, double money from the commerce is which is great. Okay, good stuff. Let's send you to Egypt. A bit of luck, we'll get something drop. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, we got some items dropping there as well. Unfortunately, nothing for the quest, which is slightly frustrating. Uh, do I send the plane back to Cyprus and try and speed it up again? It's possible. I think I'll just go back to Egypt, though, to be honest. We'll send planes to Cyprus at some point. Uh, maybe when we complete this session for the day, we'll send a couple of flights to Cyprus to... Uh, to ensure that um, obviously we can actually let's uh, yeah let's collect from the house of the pool because then they can tot up again that's great uh, yeah we'll send two planes to Cyprus so that then we start the next session we'll have two big ass planes from Cyprus to collect which would be uh, which would be really sweet actually uh, I will just wait I did just hold off there just because I want to make sure that our plane goes away even though the countdown has already begun of course uh, I still like it to get our own planes out of here first. And uh, I'm also going to go ahead and complete the Smart and Smarter collection. So we've now completed that three times. So we're officially around about halfway towards getting the Smart House, uh, which is uh, quite a nice building, actually. It's pretty good. Um, so we're halfway towards getting that, which is awesome. Okay, so uh, we've done all of that. Fantastic. Once this plane has landed... Uh, there we go, might as well land that one or the other one. Uh, we're going to upgrade, uh, upgrade this runway. So, um, 2,000 coins, a presto. So now we are no longer being held up by the idea of only having one runway that the owl planes can use, which is good. We can unlock this power plant, which is great, because that ensures that we have enough to upgrade the terminal. We need 600 coins for that, uh, but the 8 coins... Actually, we didn't need to do that. Because it, it didn't say that the first runway was using any electricity, but uh, it obviously was, but the second runway uses the same amount as the first, because that didn't go up. So I didn't actually need to spend that uh, that money on uh, the extra power plant there. But hey, we need to do it in the future anyway, so it doesn't matter. Cool. Right. So... What? I must have double clicked that by mistake, because that certainly wasn't something that I was doing. Okay, good. So, now we can land an owl plane on this second runway at the back here as well. Good. Oh, a bit thirsty. It's a hot day today. Uh, scheduled to get a lot hotter, though. Um, about 40 degrees uh, in a few days' time, of course. This, by the time this uh, particular video goes up, I think the uh, the super hot day will have already passed, but uh, yikes, yeah, it's going to get hot. 
Uh, well, I'm not complaining too. I mean, a certain part of me is complaining a little bit, but not much. Uh, we don't get much of a summer here in the UK usually, so um, the fact that it is getting hot, you know, I'm not so bothered. So it's more the night time really than anything else. During the day, I'm not. I'm quite happy with it. But it's the night time that you just cannot sleep because it's so hot. That's more what bothers me, especially because I work quite a bit. So yeah. But that's one of those things. I'm, I'd still rather much have this than be like freezing my ass off and being really cold and yeah, much, much better. Ooh, cloud cover. Oh, cloud <laughs> Still hoping. Okay, so I sent myself a, a do not disturb sign, so I've got two of them now. Um, we'll grab the all inclusive bracelet as well. Um, so slowly but surely getting the items required for this hotel. Uh, which is good, because uh, obviously it's going to yield quite a bit of money eventually. Do, 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 do. Goody, goody, good. Uh, we don't need to speed up any flights. We can definitely collect those. Uh, yeah, we can collect them uh, during this video. So when those Egyptian planes come back. Uh, and then probably what we'll do is we'll then send two planes to Cyprus. And uh, I'll call this session a day. Because at that point, basically, we're just, I mean, as, as we have done in the past video, and obviously this one as well, we're kind of just landing guest planes at the moment, and we don't really need to constantly see that happen, but uh, we'll, have, we'll have, by that point, we'll have bought this uh, upgrade for the terminal, we'll, we'll, we'll have reached, basically, our daily goals here, and uh, so it probably makes sense to just get some planes on the go for some long-haul flights, and uh, hopefully... Um, when we return, we'll get some big income. It's a shame because obviously I want to keep using these. Um, really, really want to keep using these bonuses. Especially the junior pilot is a rare bonus. You don't get that much. Um, and the fact it's got 10 hours on it. I'd really, really like to keep using that. But uh, yeah, unfortunately we can't. We, we don't want to sit here for 10 hours landing guest planes. <laughs> Believe me. E even I would get bored of that. So... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just see how it goes, but uh, to be honest, yeah, we're probably going to want to send some planes out for some long-haul flights soon. And, um, okay, no, that's okay. And, uh, yeah, just end the session, basically. Uh, you guys won't really notice that much, because obviously it's one episode a day at the moment. And, uh, basically, after that, uh, after the last episode of this session has gone up, hopefully I'll have done another recording session, and the next video will be going up in tandem. So, it shouldn't uh, make too much of an impact on the upload schedule. It's just a shame because I really want to use uh, these bonuses as much as possible. Cool, righty. I'm assuming you can't get. Yeah, I was I was just f confused where it was like for each building, but it isn't really. It's just. Uh... Yeah, it's just basically every ten minutes you can get a free item, which is fair enough. You know, otherwise you could just sit there and just you know constantly churn out free items and so the, the element of needing other people to help you would sort of go away we, you don't need other people to help you it just makes things faster and makes things easier if you do get other people to help you so it, it's not necessary and if you've got the patience and you're not so fussed about you know how long things take and you, you're quite happy to progress at a slower rate then it doesn't matter and that's a perfectly okay way to play this game that's you can do that in previous versions of this game, it was definitely very hard to do that. But uh, in this particular version, uh, it's actually a lot more single-player friendly should you choose to play the game that way. And I think that's kind of good, actually. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, it mostly is a single-player experience anyway. Until you get on to other things like the space launches, for example, when you do the, the rocket launches, which is very, very co-op based. That's very multiplayer you know, you got to, you can have 10, 11 people getting together, doing space launch after space launch, and getting so many rewards. And that is a great way to make loads and loads of cash really, really quickly, and develop the airport like like a maniac. Essentially, you can you can go off. And at some point, I wouldn't mind getting involved in some space launches. And uh, more often than not, what will happen is you'll have one person who has like the quantum leap bonus active, which reduces the drop time by like 90%. Uh, and so instead of waiting a whole day for a space launch, you only have to wait an hour. And then if more than one of you's got a quantum leap, then basically it instantaneously returns. And so if you get two people that have the bonus active in a space launch, you just get instantaneous rockets firing all the time. And you just constantly, constantly launch rockets and make loads of money. And that's, that's how a lot of people progress very, very quickly in this game. 
And, uh, you know, maybe we might consider doing that at some point. We might go for some space launches. I don't think I would want to constantly launch them all the time and churn through the game. I think it takes away some of the enjoyment of, you know, sitting here trying to save up for things. Uh, and, you know, that's that's part of the game, I feel, is to, to save up for stuff uh, and not just have things come at you straight away. But uh, otherwise, it's... Um, yeah, you, you can choose to play the game like that, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's just my personal gaming experience with this game uh, determines that that's not the way I want to play it. So that's that's just everybody's opinion. Uh, right, we've got enough uh, we've got enough cash here that um, or enough coins. Sorry, uh, cash is uh, airport cash. Uh, we've got enough here that we can actually do the uh, terminal upgrade now. Uh, stupidly, I landed a plane. Uh, which means now I've got to service that plane before I do any of this uh, this upgrading here, which is a little bit dumb, but uh, I'm assuming that's how it works. Hey, they just went through each other. Can I? I don't think I can do this at this point, can I? Oh, I can! I can get that to upgrade. Okay, uh, I can do it for free if I want to. I don't know if there's any additional items that are required, but if I can do it for free and complete it, then... Oh, there we go. Fantastic. An extension to the terminal, uh, which allows for 45 passengers now, which is super, uh, which means I can complete this mission. Hey, look at that. That's nice. I didn't expect to, have to be able to do that. I thought there was going to be additional items needed. Um, okay, so build a fuel station is the next mission. And we also have a mission to upgrade it further to level 3. Okay. Um, I imagine that's quite expensive. Yeah, 4,200. So that's not exactly the biggest priority right now. Um, I think there's more important things that we want to spend our money on. So I'm not going to do that at this, uh, this particular point in time. So what would be the next thing to save up for? That's the, really the question. Uh, yeah, because this fuel station is ready. We just need the items for it now. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I spotted a cloud. <laughs> I'm going to celebrate like mad when I get something from one of those clouds. <laughs> oh, man. It's become a thing. The cloud. Okay, right. We've got uh, our planes are arriving back. Uh, our own planes that we sent to Egypt are arriving back. So let's get rid of these uh, get rid of these guest planes here because our own flights are returning. Good, 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 good. And I think, yeah, I think uh, even though I've got these bonuses active uh, and things like that, I think I really, really, really uh, just want to send a couple of planes to Cyprus and just basically end the session. I think it's probably going to be the easiest thing to do. There's not too much. I mean, we can save up for a couple of bits here. We could potentially save up to invest in the helicopters, which is a possibility. But in all honesty, I mean, we're picking up because the next one from here is the Mystery City Square. Which is interesting, because it's basically a free building. Um, which is quite good. Um, and then after that, we get the owl. But of course, we've got the mission to buy the owl anyway. So in order to then... So at that point, we'd have two owls and two uh, two swifts, which our city is not currently equipped to, to deal with. We can't handle that at this point in time. And we'd need a fourth stand, and in order to do that, we've got to upgrade the control tower. So maybe that's the next thing to do? Upgrade the control tower? Possibly. Uh, we'd have to save it quite a bit for that, but um, that might be possible. Obviously, alternatively, we've got the... Uh... Yeah, I think that's probably the next thing to save up for, because if we get the other stand, then at least we'll have two... And at some point, we can decide not to run one of these... Uh, so if we have four planes, we can decide to just not run one of them to prioritise either running the two Swifts for Egypt and Cyprus or running the two Owls for the other flights. So in order to do that, then we'd obviously need the extra terminal section, which is very expensive, and we'd need more uh, another stand here. So yeah, the control tower looks to be the next upgrade that we need. We have the electricity to be able to do it. Uh, of course, we could potentially also invest some money into building some other buildings here as well. Alternatively, we go for the expansion, which is 3,000 and further upgrade here. But we've still got space over this way. The bowling might be a good building to invest into. But I think this is the way to go. The, uh, the control tower, I think that's the way to go. 
fairly confident anyway that that's the way to go. Right, let's uh, let's collect these uh, these planes here. Uh, all sorts of bits there, but once again, nothing for the uh, absolutely nothing for. Still, look at that four five four five, and none of those. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I can't believe that. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, let's collect here. So obviously the the, uh, the terminal's got a capacity of 45, but obviously you can see up here it says 47. That's because we've got the parking lot. Uh, the parking lot increases, obviously, the, the maximum passengers that you can have. So by having this, it actually props up the terminal a little bit with a couple of extra passengers. So that's why that's the thing. Okay, yeah, but uh, we send those two planes away, um, and yeah, to be really honest, there isn't all that much else that we need to do here. Um, I think we're in a position where um, we we can just end this session. We really can. Um, and either that or I come back in sort of a half an hour's time and wait for these planes, and then we can do something else. Yeah, that's possible. So maybe I'll just come back in half an hour's time and I'll continue with this session and... Um, just collect those planes from Cyprus. Obviously, you can, then can still make use of some of the bonuses. That's probably a great idea. Um, and yeah, well, I'll just come back when those uh, when these two planes have landed, and uh, well, we'll just do uh, some more guest planes, things like that. We'll see if we can complete any collections, any missions. Because I just sent two planes to Cyprus, so hopefully we can complete the stewardess one here. Um, with a bit of luck, one of them will uh, will turn up to be something good and give us some uh, some goodies for that particular collection. More goodies there for smarter and smarter as well, which is nice. Or smart and smarter, I should say. And it'll allow me to continue the use of the uh, the bonus as well, because some of these uh, these buildings will be ready for collection, uh, which would be really nice. Yeah, this one here and s several others as well. So, yeah, I think that's going to be the way to go. Um, let's just double-check the... Yeah, let's do another, um, another quick free g uh, gift here. Just so that we don't waste time with that. So we try and be as efficient as possible where we can anyway. So yeah, okay. Slowly but surely getting the items we need for this uh, for this hotel here. Which is an expensive investment to say the very least. But uh, otherwise, no, I think we're looking okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, but that's it for now then. So uh, I'm just going to wait 20 minutes. And uh, well, I'm just going to uh, come back in 20 minutes when those two planes from Cyprus are ready to collect and uh, we'll see what we can do from there but that's it for now so cheers for watching guys uh, be sure to check out the description for my friend code and of course put your name in the comments section um, so that I know that you are adding me from the YouTube channel uh, playthrough and not just some random person who's trying to add me that I don't actually know because I'd rather prioritize adding people who are subscribers and people who are actually following this uh, let's play as opposed to people who aren't uh, but that's it for now so cheers for watching be sure to subscribe to follow the series join me next time for more airport city